Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to dive into using Adobe XD. I'm going to show you how to auto animate a heart icon, much like you would see on Instagram when you like a post. You would click that heart, it would bounce out, fill with red, and then it would stay. But then if you clicked it again, it would unlike it and then go back to its original state. So we're going to create this tap time motion where when you click the heart, you get that process. So as you can see here on my screen, I do have one artboard and I've named it Heart One. We're working in the design tab up here in the top left. So I want to create three extra artboards here. And this is just a simple iPhone artboard. You can create this on any artboard you want. But if you were doing this for an iPhone project or a, um, you know, a smartphone project, this would be the, the size to work off of. So I'm going to click Heart One, the artboard. And then I'm just going to hit Command D three times to create three other copies. And as you can see, this one is now called Heart 1 1. I'm just going to rename those to Heart 2, Heart 3, and Heart 4. And so the first heart, I actually do want it to be just a border and not a fill. So if I click that, with my selection tool, you could see on my right hand uh, toolbar here, you could see the fill is turned off. If I check that, it would fill with the red that I have saved, but I don't want that as, as of yet. So let's uncheck that. And the size of this border is two, and, this, and the color is more of an off black, like a gray, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. So we're done there, that one's fine, because that's the original heart. Uh, before being clicked. So I'm going to click uh, select a second one and this is where I'm going to turn the, the border off but I do want to fill. And I also want to increase the size of this because when I click the first heart I'm going to animate it where the heart gets larger and then goes back to its original size. Okay, So holding down your shift and option key just grab one of the, the corner handles and to keep its constrained proportions Increase the size just a little bit. I think that's good. Okay, let's go to our third heart here. And basically all I'm gonna do here is switch off the border and fill it with the red color. So just so you know, let's before I play this, after we prototype it, I would click this, it would enlarge, then go back to this state. And now this one, I'm actually gonna delete this I'm going to make a copy of the second one because it's the exact size. Command C, go to my uh, artboard 4, and then Command V. One thing I want to make sure is that all of these are aligned on the artboard right in the center because when we animate this, you don't want to be you don't want to have a shift anywhere. Okay, so my alignment tools are in the top right here. Okay. Good, and this last one, I want that to be the border, okay? So this is where we're at here. I have my original heart, my second heart, the th third one, which is the, the same size as the original, and then this larger version. And you'll see now, I'm gonna go to my prototype tab up in the top left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and click that. And this is where we can start syncing the artboards together to make the animation come through. So I'm going to click Heart 1 artboard and I'm going to pull this guy over to the second artboard. See this little blue arrow? Just drag that over to the one that you want to connect it to. Okay? So it's a, almost like a wireframe. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that over. And I want this trigger to be a tap. So I want to initially have it so we can tap or click that first heart. The action here, I do want it to be auto animate. And the, the easing, is the destination is to heart two, so that's good. The easing I have set to wind up. You can change it to any of these other ones. Bounce might work in my case too, but I like how wind up um, is. Okay, so that's good. So I have that set to tap. Now I can go to my second artboard and I'm gonna drag this arrow to the third artboard to link those together. And now I don't want this one to tap. I want it to be a time, 
okay? Because when, when we tap the first one, we want it to stay and we want it to be a time process. And I want this set to zero seconds because I want the process to go really quickly. The action we're gonna leave to auto animate. I'm gonna leave the wind up and the duration to 0 0.1 seconds. So the beauty of this is um, the settings stay the same as you're syncing uh, each artboard to the other. But if you do have to make some small manipulations or corrections, you can do that as well. So I'm going to click on Artboard 3 now and drag that over to Artboard 4. So I have this one set to tap, this one to time. This one should be tap again. And auto animates good. And then the last one, actually let's play this and see how it looks. So I'm going to click Cart 1 Artboard. And up top in your right hand corner you have a play button so go ahead and click that and there's there's the original heart I'm gonna click it and there it got it got large and it stayed at that okay there's only one more step that I have to do here I'm gonna click on my four page four or fourth artboard I should say and I'm gonna take this last arrow wire and link it back to I'm gonna link it back to the original artboard. And we want this to be tap. Um, let's tap, and that one's time. So let's just change that to time. Zero seconds, everything else looks good. So, just to go over things, the first artboard is a tap, the second one is a time, the third one is a tap, and the last one is a time. So let's go ahead and play that and see how it looks. So there's my Instagram post. I like it, and now I unlike it. So I like it, and now I unlike it. So having those settings, you get that, that experience where you're clicking it, and it, it does look pretty good. I may go back and play with some of the timing or the easing and see if I if some things can, can work a little bit better, but that's a really good start, and that's how you would animate a heart in Adobe XD. Try it out and see how it works for you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.